Uh, I'm not going to prove that everything is technology and what technology means. Instead of talking to you, I'm going just to uh, write to read a quote. When I finish it, I will tell you where it comes from. Uh, the quote really is related to well-known problems of design and use of technology and the power of social media, all sorts of power. Let me just start. <coughs> the machines might be permitted to make all of their own decisions without human oversight, or else human control over the machines might be retained. If the machines are permitted to make all their own decisions, we can, cannot make any conjectures as the result because it is impossible to guess how such machines might behave. We only point out that the fate of the human race would be at the mercy of the machines. It might be argued that the human race would never be foolish enough to hand over all the power to the machines, but we are suggesting neither that the human race would voluntarily turn power over to the machines, nor that the machines would willfully seize power. What we do suggest is that the human race might easily permit itself to drift into a position of such dependence on the machines that it would have no practical choice but to accept all the machines' decisions. As a society, and the problems that face it become more and more complex, and machines become more and more intelligent, people will let machines make more of their decisions for them simply because machines made decisions will bring better results than man-made machines. No ovens. Eventually, a stage may be reached at which the decisions necessary to keep the system running will be so complex that human beings will be incapable of making them intellectually. At that stage, the machines will be in effective control. People won't be able to just turn the machines off because they will be so dependent on them that turning them off would amount to suicide. On the other hand, it is possible that human control over the machines may be retained. In that case, the average man may have control over certain private machines of his own, such as car or the personal computer. But control over a large system of machines will be in hands of tiny elite, just as it is today, but with a few differences. Due to improved techniques, the elite will be will have greater control over the masses, and because human work will no longer be necessary, the masses will be superfluous, a useless burden of the system. If the elite are ruthless, they may simply decide to exterminate the masses of humanity. If they are human, they may use propaganda or other psychological or biological techniques to reduce the birth rate until the masses of humanity become extinct leaving the world to the elite. Only if the elite consists of the soft-hearted liberals, they may decide to play the role of good shepherds to the rest of the human race. They will see to it everyone they will they will see to it that everyone's physical needs are satisfied, that all children are raised under psychologically hygienic conditions, that everyone has a hobby to keep him busy, and that everyone who may become dissatisfied undergoes treatment to cure his problems. Of course, life will be so purposeless that people will have to be biologically and psychologically engineered, either to remove their need for the power process or make them sublimate their drive for power into some harmless hobby. These engineered humans beings may be happy in such a society, but they will not uh, they will most certainly not be the free. End of the quote. This is what uh, Kaczynski wrote. I'm not going to apologize to Kaczynski. No one can apologize. He, he healed a few people and he sent 15 letter bumps. But many of us agree that that is a possible scenario. And more and more people in my knowledge is thinking that something similar might be coming not so far from now. The problem certainly lies in the question, who would regulate the use of technology? And is it possible to be regulated at all? In that process, the problem is, uh, can 
governments be trusted or can elite can be trusted who mostly make money in the countries where they not, don't live. So the issues are very complicated and when I think even if we agree on the way how to regulate things, the question is can we impose regulation to technology? <coughs> technology, let me just finish. I would say it is a beast. It has own rules which are not set by our design. They have own lives and own procedures. Thank you.